Hello everyone, this is another FC practice for the part 4 for questions 1 to 8. Complete the second sentence so that it has a similar meaning to the first sentence, okay? Well, here's an example and I'm going to give you some time to do it, okay? Try to do it, write it on a piece of paper and at the end of the video I will talk about the answers, okay? Well, let's go!
Very well, so here we are with the answers. Well, number one, we can visit Portugal or we can visit Spain with our current budget. We can't do both, so they have to do. They can visit Portugal or Spain. They cannot do this, the two things at the same time. And we have this word here, either. So in this type of exercise, you have to remember okay, the expressions. For example, either or, neither nor, not only but also, both and. In this case, is either or because they cannot do the two things at the same time or they cannot do the two things, okay? So they can do only one thing or the other. So either or. With our current budget, we can visit either Portugal or Spain, okay? Well, number two, Vicky's English is very good. As a consequence, people often think she's a teacher here. Well, Vicky's English, people often think she's a teacher here. So people often think she's a teacher here. Vicky's English. So uh, we have is very good as a consequence. Well, you have to remember that to use that expression. Uh, so good that, right? So English, uh, Vicky's English is so good that people often think she's a teacher here. Okay, so you have to remember these uh, expressions. Is so good that as a consequence, uh, that's why. Number three, homemade food is way better than fast food, okay? So nearly, so fast food as homemade food. What What is missing, okay? So homemade food is here, homemade food is here. Fast food, fast food. So we have like a comparison here, okay? Way better than fast food. So we have to use nearly, okay, nearly. So we have to remember, okay? Uh, other ways to compare, okay? Well, nearly, so it's inverted, right? So homemade is better than fast food. So fast food, it's not better than homemade, but you have to use this expression. So fat fast food is not nearly as good as, okay? So not nearly as good as, okay? There's an in indicative here. Okay, as good as, okay? Well, number four, he tried to defend himself, but his story was very confusing. He tried to defend himself, but his story, well, we have to replace this, was very confusing. We have to replace for, with the, we have to use the word made, okay? So his story made no sense, okay? So you have to use this. So you cannot change this word. His story made no sense. Number four. Well, now let's go to number five. I don't see any possibility of change ahead of us. I don't see any possibility of change in the future. Well, ahead of us, here, ahead of us, that's the expression. You have to change ahead of us for foreseeable, which means in the future, okay? I don't see any possibility of change in the future, but we have to use foreseeable. And you have to remember this expression. Foreseeable is like a future that you can probably imagine, right? Uh, I'm imagining things. Well, I'm predicting things. Well, I don't see any possibility of change in the foreseeable future, okay? I don't see any possibility of change in the future, okay? In the foreseeable future, in a future that I can visualize, okay, that I can imagine that's probably going to happen, okay? Uh, number six, it was a mistake to come here. Now we have wish. Well, now you have to remember, okay, the, the wishes, uh, which forms of wish. Well, first, it was a mistake. Well, let's, let me put it here. Uh, three uh, uses for wish. First, I wish I had, okay, I wish I had, I don't know, a BMW, okay, 
I wish I had a BMW, but I don't have it. So I wish I had, but I don't have. This is wish plus simple past. Okay. Well, I wish I, I wish I, I wish I was, or I wish I were. Okay. This is more, this is actually, this is the formal, uh, correct form. You can say informally, I wish I was okay. But in this case, I know singular plural, but when you use wish, you have to use I wish I were in the singular. Okay. I wish I were taller. Okay. I'm not so tall or I wish I were taller or I wish I were, I wish I were rich. Okay. So, but I'm not all right. Well, I wish I were taller, but I'm not. So this, uh, it's something you wish, but you don't have, this is something you wish, but you are not. Okay. Uh, the other wish is for, it's about regrets. I wish I had, I wish I had gone to the party. Okay. To the party. Well, the party was great, it was super nice. And everybody was talking about it. Everybody had a lot of fun, but I didn't go. Well, then I regret. Wow. I wish I had gone to the party. Okay. This is a regret. Something about the past that I didn't do it or I did, right? Maybe I went to the party, but it was so bad. And then I regret going to the party. I wish I hadn't gone to the party. Well, and the other wish is when we say wish plus would, I wish, uh, somebody, right? I wish she would stop. Um, I wish she would stop smoking. Okay. I wish she would stop smoking. Okay. I cannot make her stop. So I just wish she would do that. So I expect her to stop doing something or I expect her to do something. So in this case, it was a mistake. Well, it's a regret. So it's a regret. We have to use this structure past. Perfect. Okay. Well, it was a mistake to come here. I wish I hadn't come here. Okay. The word come is uh, in the present come in the past came in the past participle come. Okay. Come came come. So I wish I hadn't come here. Okay. I wish I hadn't come here. Number seven. I took control of my family's business after they almost went bankrupt. My family's business after the, they almost went bankrupt. While well, the word we clearly have to replace is this word here. Took control, take control. Now we have to use this phrasal verb over. Okay. So we have to remember take control is the same as take over. Well, I took over. My family's business after they almost went bankrupt. Number eight, cleaning the house is not really one of my favorite activities, but I can't feel, I can't feel comfortable at home if I don't do it. Well, let's compare the two phrases. Okay. So this phrase must have the same meaning as this phrase, uh, cleaning the house. Well, I'm the house but I can feel comfortable at home if I don't do it. So this part here is the same. So we don't have to change anything here after the comma because it's the same. Okay. So we have to change something here. Cleaning the house. I'm not really one of my favorite. It's not my favorite activity. Well, we have to remember this expression fond. Okay. I'm not fond of, okay. I'm not fond of cleaning. So many people forget, right? To write the word cleaning. Ah, I'm not fond of the house. No, you see, it doesn't make sense. You have to remember to some, some people, they remember the expression, but they forget or they miss 
writing the verb, okay? Sometimes you have to put the verb, okay? So be careful not to forget the verb, okay? I'm not fond of the house. No, I'm not fond of what? You have to use this verb, cleaning the house. Uh, one more thing that it's going to be important for you to remember. So here uh, they use the word cleaning. Let's say the word is not cleaning. The word is washing. Maybe uh, on the phrase the word was washing. Okay. Then you have to use I'm not fond of washing. Okay. So remember to use the same word or the same verb here and there. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for watching this video and click the like button if you really like this video and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.